Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are diving back into Feedvisor, the great AI powered repricer for growing Amazon sellers. In my previous Feedvisor video, we covered how their patented AI algorithms help sellers maximize profits by winning the buy box at the optimal price while accounting for consumer price sensitivity. Today, I want to focus specifically on one of Feedvisor essential standout features. It's AI-driven recommendations engine. This intelligent system analyzes all of your product and sales data to provide tailored data back suggestions on how to optimize your pricing strategy. Whether you're a new seller just starting out or a seasoned pro, having an AI assistant at your side identifying opportunities can be a game changer. The recommendations engine looks at factors like historic buy box share, sales velocity, review count, and more to advise on things like repricing range adjustments, promoting high potential ASINs, and capitalizing on trends. It essentially takes all the guesswork out of determining an effective pricing approach. If you want to try Fidevisor for yourself, make sure to check the video description for an exclusive discount code just from our community or scan the barcode that will be here on the screen. All right, let's jump in. Okay, so um, basically this feature takes the guesswork or the thinking out of you and instead of thinking, okay, what should I do next? What should be my next action? It basically giving you the recommendations based on AI that literally save a lot of time and giving you recommendations that otherwise you won't probably know about. So uh, from the dashboard, after you log in, you go and click on review and take action. And then you will see all the actions, uh, actionable items, it's thinking for a while, but you will see all the actionable alerts that you can take. For example, uh, it's telling you that not selling, no BB at floor. So this is something that you can change and put the lower pr uh, floor price and have these uh, products also repriced. So this is something that, you know, you might miss. And now it's giving you that recommendation through the dashboard. Let's see on some other recommendation or actionable alerts that you can take right now. So it's still thinking. Not sure why it takes a while, especially when we're, we're here a few seconds before. Let's open a new tab maybe. Okay, here I can see it. All right, so here it says in stock, but not repriced. I have 53 items that I'm not repricing. So this is a huge opportunity to add the repricer, set the setting, add to the repricing tool and have them repriced and start making more profits. Here, collecting fee data, we have 18 listings. So what is a fee data? Let's click on the, doesn't really work, but let's click on view listings. So repriced product collecting fee data. So these products are set to reprice, but the Amazon fees data that is necessary to actively reprice this product is still being calculated. The repricing will start as soon as all the fee data is collected. Now, I'm not sure why it's showing here. Maybe it's an FBM offer. Yeah, those are FBM. They don't really show. So you should either set it or uh, make sure that they are being set with their support. Rarely in stock. So this is an opportunity also. Maybe, you know, in your head, you know that you, there is an item that is, uh, you didn't really notice that is rarely in stock, but uh, you get you get a sale here or there, but not always consistently. So make sure that you're more in stock for that item. So basically, all these things are recommendations based on data that you might didn't see, might uh, overlooked, might not even be aware that they are possible and here they're giving you those recommendations right away. So I really like those kind of features. Helium 10 have something similar with the insights that uh, recently they uh, introduced that also save a lot of time in the same concept, but this is for a different software that does different things. This is for repricer and they have some other tools here that I they, uh, covered in the previous video. So definitely check those repricer recommendations uh, as well, let me know in the comment sections what do you think. And as always, I'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching.